close. Nice try, just past the hole. A few of you Eagle Eye videos will know I've got a different putter out. Not fun out of love, my other one, but I just thought I'd bring an old faithful out. Four to start, on to the next tip. Another nice one. My driving's been quite good at the moment. I kind of feel like I'm shallowing it off into the ball. So essentially trying to feel like I'm hitting draw, but it's not coming out like a draw. It's still coming out my like little fade. But really just by doing that, I'm neutraling myself up. Go find it. 148 yards, a little bit of help. I'm gonna my nine iron. I think it's pretty spot on yardage for a comfy one. Oh, it's right high, yeah. I think it's close. There's a little ridge there so I can't quite see. Me and Em's been working really hard on all the social media, so the YouTube channel and the Instagram, and it's absolutely fantastic to get your feedback, guys. Also, to get the feedback from Bunker Mentality, and then get asked to go on the radio show. Absolutely can't wait for that. Oh yeah. How many feet do you reckon that is then? Uh, ten. I actually think about a ten this time. That's amazing, the buggy. <laughs> no walk. So 10 feet now Em's, I'm um, just going to try and hold this putt and then just address one of the questions that one of you guys sent in on Instagram I'm going to show you how to get out of bunker, well I plugged the ball out of bunker I should say <laughs> Just short, let's go and show you how to get out of bunker with a plug ball So, just address the plug bunker as you can see, that's nicely plugged, nice little uh, fried egg as you, everyone likes to call it. So for me, I don't play this like we did on the other video where we open the face, give it loads of loft. I now close the face down a little bit, I grip it very, very lightly in my hands. And instead of working the bounce underneath the ball, I kind of drop the club onto the back of the ball. It's almost, I always feel like I'm letting go of the club, but you obviously don't let go of the club everybody, so don't go and try that. But I put the ball towards the back of my stance, and I drop the club on the back of the ball and this should just work the club underneath it pop it up and it can get it coming out of the bunker really really soft which is quite surprising really when you get lies like this and the ball comes out soft so I'm just going to step back a little bit so you can get covered with sand and I'm going to give it a go so ball towards the back of the stance I'm going to feel like I'm dropping the club on the back of the ball just trying to pop it up quite a nice end you say yeah? Oh, plug ball, come on. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't know what she's just seen there. Beautiful little plug ball bunker shot. So remember, drop the club on the back of the ball and it feels like I just pop it up. So keep that grip pressure light, drop the club on the back of the ball, pops the ball out for you. Give it a go. 136 yards, similar to the shot on the last, really. I've got my 9 iron again. Flags at the front. So when the flag's at the front, I always find that I want to hit the ball a little bit higher don't know why I think that, I just kind of like to see it going a little bit higher, I feel like I've got more chance of getting it closer. And also, um, this is probably an instance where you don't want to hit a club like you're maxing out, because if you don't quite get it and the flag's at the front, you're always going to come up short. So this is kind of one where a comfy one I know can get past the flag, so I'm always taking it off it when it's a little bit towards the front of the green. And then vice versa, when the flag's at the back, I'm always hitting one that I kind of know I'm never going to go past that flag, so I'm kind of maxing it out. They're just little things to learn from Cadden European Tour for Tom Murray and Simon Dyson. Hopefully I can del deliver again, Ems, for you. I've got to said, comfy one, just past the flag. So I'm not taking that front of the green into in the equation. I'm always playing to the centre of the green. I, I reckon that is about mm, 12 feet. I'd say at least five. No, she's probably got it right to be fair. How far is it then? Well, but you're about right. Sorry? Feet. I was right? Yes, you were right. <laughs> now this is a little bit downhill left to right, so I'm going to try and dive this into the hole. Don't want to be racing this one at the hole because it can easily get away from me and I have about three or four feet left in my par. So, dying it in there, giving it all of its chances to get every part of the hole. 
Just working it in there left to right. Just dyed it in there just enough. Nice birdie. Hole 13 here at Ronald, par 5. I think I can get there in two tonight. It's, it's, a, it's warm, but it's whether they get two good ones away, I can definitely get up in two. That's one half of the deal. Mm. A little bit healy. Definitely not got up in two here. One half of the deal was okay. But second half was not very good. Let's go and find it. 45 yards. Like I said, didn't get that one too good there. A little bit healy, a little bit spinny. That's why it's going to be a bit short. So 45 yards. So talking about pitching positions again. This is my of the club to the ground or nine o'clock as you like to call it with my 58 so i can have like a smooth half one for me uphill 45 yards to try and see if we get it close Only just. Only just. So, just to address another question that I sent in by direct message is how to play it with a bad lie. Now, M just zooms in on that for us. It's kind of like sat down on mud, a little bit of a hole, a little bit. Basically, not a great lie. So, for me, I kind of call this like my toe down shot. Now, I have the ball on my back foot, and that's my right foot being uh, right handed. I put a toe into the ground. Now, if you can kind of see there, my shaft angle is really, really quite steep and upright. So now I'm going to kind of make like a put in motion, kind of just work that ball. And what this does is, this club moves like this underneath the ball. I'll just show you that there, guys. It moves like that, and it just kind of pops it up. It's a bit similar to the bunker shot, really. It kind of just softens the whole motion off and allows me to get a soft shot out of a bad lie. So, ball towards the back foot, really vertical shaft angle. Gonna try and make a little bit of almost like a putting stroke. Pretty nice shot from bad line. Now, key things is ball towards the back foot, get that shaft angle really vertical, and feel like you make more of a putting stroke and just get that toe working underneath that ball, popping it up. 129 yards. Now, this is the final question I'm going to choose out of the ones that were sent in. Um, but if you really want to get your questions answered, like on course tips, like the ones I've chosen tonight, or some that are completely different, comment down below or make sure you keep up to date on my Instagram because we'll put a photo on there that you can comment on and we'll address them, or you can direct message me and we'll address them in an on course vlog. So the final question was how do I line up? Now, I get the flag, I get an intermediate target between the ball and the flag. That could be a divot, that could be a piece of grass, it could be anything, it could be a leaf. So for me, I get the flag, my intermediate target, in this case it's a little mark on the ground just here. So intermediate target, mark on the ground, club head down. And I'm pointing that right at my intermediate target. Now, I like to get my feet just about parallel with that line. So imagine this is a line here, tracing all the way through my intermediate target, all the way to the flag. And now my feet line is just running parallel to that. Now I'm set up nicely, I'm aiming exactly where I want to go, just put a good swing on it. So how many feet? I don't know, I think this is probably about 45, 50. Nice shot, just a bit long. But again, use that little technique to line yourself up. It's going to be a nice two put this one. Downhill, right to left. Let's close that. Quite a nice effort. Nice effort. Nice 
Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. It was more of on course tips, all those questions that I was addressing via Instagram. Lots of really exciting content coming up. If you want to see what's inside European tour player Chris Hansen's tour bag, the link will be just down below, just there. Also, guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and let's bump that subscribe account up. Thanks for the nice comments, everyone. They do really mean a lot. And thank you very much for watching. See you next week in Alex Elliott Golf.